listen, I'm very tired and I have cramps and I'm not feeling super creative. So I just thought it would be fun to sit down and just play with makeup and see what happens. Um, it's not really, it's not really like fall weather outside yet, but it is fall in my heart. So I think I wanna play with like some fall colors. Specifically, I wanna use the Desi and Katie palette from Dose of Colors, cause I have it and I really like it, but it's been a little while since I've pulled it out and played with the colors. And they're really cute. And I think I wanna use like the, you know, these ones, the like fall berry colors. Can you tell I'm tired? So, I don't know, if you're also feeling kind of just like chill and lazy, I don't know, grab a snack, grab a beverage, let's hang out, let's do it. Okay, I think I want to start with my eyes just because I'm not, I'm not totally sure what I have planned yet. I'm just going to start with a little bit of concealer. This is the ColourPop one. I'm gonna prime my eyelids because I'm a professional. There's a lot of fires happening in and around LA and it's really like smoky and nasty outside. And so I'm just kind of chilling inside today. I don't really know what my plan is here. Let's just go for it. Okay, picking a color. Let's start, let's start with, I'm always so bad at seeing what the colors are. Okay, let's start. I think this is the color necessary. Just put mine in my crease. I like this color a lot. It's a really good crease color. It's really pretty. What is on my lip? I think there's like dry. <laughs> There's like dry latte on my lip. I'm. <laughs> Someone help. Someone help me. Anyway, if you watched the last makeup video I posted, the, the one where I was talking about the new Alicia Marie BH palette, um, I think I discussed in that video that I like to blend eyeshadows inward. Like I start kind of where I want the color to end and then blend inward. And really the reason I do that is I just have more control and I feel like it, for someone who's kind of a beginner like me, helps things from getting a little too crazy and out of hand. All right, now I'm gonna take this color, Girl Bye. <laughs> cute. I love this palette, it's so cute. And the colors all like blend together really nicely. And I'm gonna put this in my crease as well, but not as far out and not as high. Like I said, I don't really have a plan, so some of these steps might not be necessary because I don't really know what I'm like shooting for. I'm just using colors that look pretty. <laughs> if you hear like extraneous noises, um, my roommate and her boyfriend are home. And also my cat's in here somewhere playing with a bottle cap, so there's probably just gonna be a lot of extra sounds. It's it is what it is. Okay, I like this. Even this is kind of pretty. Just This is what I mean of like all the colors in this palette like blend into each other in such a pretty way. Like you, there's like, how many eyeshadows are in here? 10, but I feel like you get so many colors if you just like combine them in different ways. That's really pretty. I'm gonna put a little bit more of that. I'm just taking the same crease brush that I put on Necessary with and I'm just blending it together so it's really soft. I didn't put any extra product on here. My, this hand that's holding this palette is shaking so much. I got new espresso pods and they're effective. <laughs> I'm gonna use churro and deepen up my outer corner a little bit. Just kind of flicking it inward almost in my crease and then along my lashes. My hand is shaking so much. I 
I'll probably go back and forth like this a couple times just to build up that color in the outer corner. Okay, I think I want the outer corner to be even darker, so I'm going to use Cheens. I'm going to use the dark brown and do kind of the same thing. It's crazy to me that it's like full-blown fall for some people right now. Like I was talking to one of my best friends lives in Montreal and we were talking about like planning a time in the next couple months where like I could go and see her and I was like oh what about um you know like what about like January or February you know when it's not like too crazy after the holidays and she was like dude you don't want to come it's going to be like minus 22 degrees Celsius and I was like like I know that that's a thing other places but I've truly Like, I've never experienced a temperature that cold. Like, I've lived in California my entire life, and, like, I've gone to the mountains. Like, I've been in snow, but even then, like, minus 22 degrees Celsius. Like, that's nuts. <laughs> it's cold as fuck. I may not be visiting her in January or February, simply because I might die. Now for the fun part. I'm gonna use Try Me, the really pretty like rosy berry metallic. And I think I wanna get this wet. So I'm just gonna spray some Fix Plus on there. I got Fix Plus on everything. Fuck. I'm trying so hard to look at the, oh. so fucking pretty. Oh, I love this palette. I'm just really like pressing that onto my lid. I'm gonna try not to get it too much in my crease, but I won't make promises. That color is so, so pretty. I love that. Okay, time for the next eye. I don't think by any means that you have to get these eyeshadows wet. I think they're really pretty dry. It just does make them like a little more metallic and foiled looking and not as glittery, which I love glitter, but I just wanted it to look really like sheeny and metallic today. Oh, I love it so much. This is like, I don't have a lot, but this is potentially like my favorite eyeshadow palette of, the, all, of all time. Like, I think especially because I'm not someone who like needs an everyday kind of palette because on every day I'm just putting like bronzer in my crease and we're good to go. I'm going to go in with Cheens again, the dark brown, and kind of outline the outer part of that color. I'm being pretty gentle with this brush too. I'm taking a little bit of necessary and just making sure everything in the crease is blended. And now a little bit of Girl By. I just want to make sure that all those, that you're able to see all those like pretty colors that I put into my crease and they actually show up. Like I said earlier, like I don't think all of these colors were necessary to do what I did. I just didn't really have a plan going into this, so you'd probably be fine. Like you could probably get away with not using every single color that I did. Okay, before going back to the eyes, I'm just gonna do a little bit of face makeup. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, I got this, this is a mini, I got this in like a little duo with the other one, the purple one, and I prefer the purple one, it's really pretty. This one's nice too, I don't think it's, I don't think it does as much other than just like give your face a pretty sheen. I almost think these primers are good for like, um, like no makeup makeup, because I think they kind of get covered if you're gonna like put a full face of makeup on. Like I don't know that you would see it, but I think it, oh stuck my finger in my eye. I think they give your face like a really pretty like healthy sheen if you're gonna do like spot concealing or something more minimal like that. I like it. I already have eyebrow pencil in. This is, I use the NYX micro brow pencil simply because I'm tired of looking at my 
unfilled in brows when I'm editing. <laughs> RMS Beauty on cover up. This one I kind of like to warm up on my hand first to make it a little easier to spread, a little more emollient. Because it is, it is a little on the thicker side, like it, if it's not warmed up and you're trying to spread it, it will kind of, it will kind of tug. I'm just spot concealing where I have blemishes or redness or something. I'm not going, I'm not going all out. I think that would probably be my biggest complaint with this concealer is I just, I feel like you do really have to like press it into your skin and really like make sure it's like worked into your skin and warmed up with your fingers. Otherwise I think it can just tend to like, it can tend to kind of just like sit on top of things. But I think once you do that, it's really pretty, but I think it does take that step of like warming it and then like really like, I try not to pull on my face, but I am really like pressing this in. Oh, that primer is kind of pilling a little. I think I put too much on. Kind of just want like a neutral blush today. I'm use the cloud paint from Glossier in Dusk. I've, I'm so impressed with how much of this I've used. Like I've used like a good, like half a tube, which if you have these, you know that they last forever. So like that's, it's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Wow, I squeeze it a lot. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. So pretty. I feel like it's, even when you squeeze it a lot, I feel like these, I think when you first put on the cloud paints, they can look a little intense, um, but I feel like they almost kind of like fade into your face. Like I think they kind of like, to some degree, like, like I think they tone themselves down a little bit. I like to bring my, my blush kind of like up back to my ears and along my cheekbone. I just, I don't, know. I don't know if that's what I should be doing, but it's what I've been doing. Okay, I'm gonna put on some bronzer. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brush. I think they sell this as a highlighting brush, which like for me, it's giant for that. I, in the summertime, I use, like to use, for bronzer, I use like a giant brush. Like, like these are the kind of brushes I would use for bronzer because I want it like all over, but now that it's not summer anymore, um, I want my bronzer to be a little more, a little more precisely placed. This brush is like really twirly and flimsy, which I feel like is good for this. This is the best bronzer of all time. I don't, I don't know. When you know, you know, you know? I'm not really like putting a ton of product on my brush, but I am like going over the same areas a lot because I want it to be, I want it to be there, but I want it to be really soft and diffused. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Real Techniques setting brush. Again, like, setting brush? Like, it's tiny. Do whatever you want, but like, I went to New York what, about a week ago and this mirror got even dirtier in my makeup bag and I'm not going to apologize. Put that on my brow bone as well. Why not? Why not? Why not? Take a crazy chance. Why not? Do a crazy dance. You know what I'm talking about. I kind of like lost my train of thought, but in terms of like what I was doing makeup wise. Now seems like a good time to set my face. MAC Coconut Fix Plus. Um, This is probably terrible for your face because like it's incredibly fragranced but like this is just one of those things that I I turn a blind eye it's like basically almost completely empty oh I squirted myself in the eyeball it just smells so good I don't know I don't know if I'm willing to give that up just yet let me know if anyone is interested in seeing like of products that I've used up video like empties like it would probably be more skincare because that's the thing I use more often but I know that I personally really like watching what people have used and when they say like 
if they would purchase it again, let me know if that's something that you would find interesting. I think now is a good time to finish my eyes. Well, okay, I think first and foremost, I'm gonna take Girl By on a little pencil brush and just run this along my lash line, but like I'm gonna try to keep it pretty, I'm gonna try to keep it pretty close to my lashes and not make it too smoky. Like I don't wanna look like I have pink eye. I really like how this is looking. Let's take Churro. And this is just gonna live in like the outer half. Taking chains just on like the very tip of this. And kind of using it to connect the outer corner of the, of my upper and lower lash line. I think I actually wanna run that like along my upper lash line in lieu of eyeliner. Taking a little bit of a fluffier pencil brush and like tapping it off into necessary. That's what I'm gonna use to like blend all of those together. The last thing I want to do is I want to is I want to take just a kiss. It's like really pretty glitter. And I want to put that on my inner corners. Ooh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is turning into such a like Like we've just bypassed fall and this is like a like holiday party like this is now like a Christmas makeup tutorial which like I'm down Colourpop eyeliner in Mr. Bing I think this is one of the ones that Kathleen made and I will buy pretty much anything she talks about or makes Kathleen was like one of the first if not I think she might have been the first like beauty youtuber that I watched and like watched on any kind of regular basis like I remember and I still watch her I've been watching her for years but she's fantastic I I love her I love her channel BH Cosmetics stellar lash mascara this is um, just a mini one this mascara is pretty it's maybe the only only like the second or third time I've used it but I'm into it and I actually do really like um, using miniature mascaras. I think it was my roommate that turned me on to that because she, she was like, there's kind of no point in buying like full size mascaras because they expire so quickly and like dry out. This is where we're at in the, the saga of me trying to use all of this boy brow. I got to a point where this little brush is so short that it was no longer able to like scrape the sides of this container so now I have a separate brush and I, I almost wish maybe this would be like something interesting to do I wish that like with products like this that I would like have tallied like when I started to use it so that I could see like exactly how many applications is like in a tube of this and like the difference between when you think you run out and then you pull the stopper out, how many more applications you get. Like maybe I can create like a, a Google doc next time and like see how much use I can actually get out of it. Cause I feel like, I don't know if that would interest anyone else, but I feel like that is like, that intrigues me a lot. Like I would be really curious to know like how many times you can use a product before it like is truly, truly empty. Especially cause like, Makeup's expensive. Okay, I think for lips, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl O oh Sugar Bomb. I don't know if CoverGirl still makes these. I'm not super like, I'm not super like in tune with their launches and like what they have in stock. Um, but I kind of picked this up on a whim like last fall and I wore it a ton, I really like it. It's this like balmy kind of lipstick and this is in the shade Soda and it, it smells I think quite similar to do you remember the Bonnie Bell like Dr. Pepper lip smacker I think this smells like that and I think it's a good way like for me personally to wear like a deeper color like this because it has like a really sheer 
balmy finish. Like it's not crazy intense. Obviously it's also not like long wearing by any means like, but if you don't mind sticking this in your purse to like reapply it, I think you would like it if you can get it. I don't know. I feel like maybe just for shits and gigs, I might put this lip gloss on. This is um, a pixie gloss lip icing in cake. It says pixie and Chloe Morello. It has kind of like, like duochrome, like pinky rose gold glitters in it. And it's so pretty. Um, okay. I think that is the finished look. I'm like pretty shocked that, <laughs> I mean, I'm not shocked cause like I love all these products, but like, I know I was like pretty low energy and stuff today and like kind of like out of it. Like I said, I have cramps. Like I'm not, I'm not feeling like 10 out of 10. So I'm like surprised that this is what I ended up with. Man, that's every day. I'm like, Oh, I'm going to sit at home and like just fuck around with makeup. Those are the days when my makeup looks insane. And then the days when I'm like, Oh, I have to do my makeup cause I'm going somewhere. That's when I'm like, Oh, I think I'll do a wing and it <sighs> fuck me. Wow. This is so pretty. Okay. I'm definitely going to like do this look again. I'm really happy with this. All right. I'm just gonna go. I think that just about does it. Thank you for chilling and hanging out with me today. I will see you. All right, that is all for me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.